Most people completely misunderstand ChatGPT projects and almost no one is using them the way they're actually designed to be used. So if you've ever tried figuring out how to use ChatGPT projects or wondered what the new projects in ChatGPT actually changes, this is the ChatGPT tutorial that finally makes it click. By the end, you'll see why ChatGPT projects are a total game changer. Before we do anything, let's break down what projects on ChatGPT actually are. It's a simple idea on the surface, but understanding it properly unlocks the real power of this feature. A quick word on not using projects. So if you're just a regular ChatGPT user that doesn't use projects, your sidebar will look like this with multiple chats down the whole column. And each of those is a topic in themselves. And you can open up one of these chats and within that chat, there'll be a history of that chat. Also across all these chats, ChatGPT does have a memory. So it's gonna remember a lot of different things from all your different chats, but it might not remember it. It's not very specific. That's why ChatGPT projects are much more powerful. On the other hand, when you open up a project, you have chats within that project and all of those chats have a memory of everything inside that project. And you can attach files and give it custom instructions for each of the projects you're working with. This one has a few attached, mostly around marketing. So I can recall or get it to reference some of those documents inside a chat and give me answers that way. So projects share one brain across multiple chats here and it won't get confused from other chats that you've got going on or other projects for that matter. A ChatGPT project is essentially a lightweight workspace with persistent memories across all chats. And then you can organize life projects or work projects into different project folders. It learns faster the more you use it. It remembers your system, tone and goals. It evolves with each new chat, centralizes your files and context and feels like an actual AI partner inside ChatGPT. Well, well, real quick, if you're still crafting visuals one by one, you're moving slow. See during 4.0 turns a single idea into a full set of 4K images and short videos in minutes. See Dream 4.0 is Byte Plus's next gen creative model and API for brands, agencies, and SaaS teams that need fast, reliable, and on-brand visuals at scale. Nail character consistency from a clean prompt Build storybook or comic sequences where outfits, faces, and lighting stay locked from frame to frame. Spin up product concept images in multiple poses and backdrops, or import one or more reference images to create commercial photography, posters, and magazine covers that feel campaign ready. Use the multi-image blending tool to merge references into one look. Batch generation of up to 15 images for instant variations. Edit or style transfer with a simple prompt to refine without starting over. 4K output with standout feature consistency. The model tracks your intent, so results feel cohesive and ready to review with stakeholders. The dashboard here is straightforward. Type a prompt or upload one or more images and add guidance. Pick auto, storybook, or comic mode, set resolution, aspect ratio, and choose total outputs, and away you go. So if you're a brand or agency, C-Dream 4 is the all-in-one tool you need. Try it free today and see how fast you can go from idea to campaign. Promo link in the description below. A ton of people create a ChatGPT project and then wonder why nothing feels different. That's because most users don't know how to actually use the ChatGPT projects feature properly. So here we have a project called Call Empty Project and at the moment there's nothing inside it. And what people end up doing is they skip adding files and they skip adding instructions and it just becomes just a folder with more random chats in it yet again. And without giving instructions, here's what it's gonna come back with. Okay, it's just given us a generic answer on what projects are all about. Whereas if I come into a chat where I've given it custom instructions and I ask it what this project is about, it's gonna come back with a completely different result. The real power of ChatGPT projects comes from persistent memory. This is what makes them so much stronger than just isolated chats or even custom GPTs in many cases. To get real results with ChatGPT projects, you need to upload useful documents and set clear ChatGPT custom instructions. This is what turns what appears to be a ChatGPT folder into a personalized AI engine. Let me now show you the fastest way to set up ChatGPT projects properly. This is the exact workflow I use and it takes under a minute. It does help if you've got some support documents ready to go though. Right, so I'm gonna start a new project which is a go high level AI agent builder. Now at this point, I can select settings here and get it to choose between default memory or project only memory. With default memory, it's gonna actually have access to information from previous chats inside my whole ChatGPT library and other projects. Or if I want it to be specific and only have access to the information I choose, I can select project only. And that's gonna be very specific to what we're talking about inside that project. And then the next thing we're gonna do is add files. So I've got some actual knowledge bases and checklist guides here, and I'm gonna add those 
And these are very specific to the project of building an AI agent inside Go High Level. The next thing you do is come up to add instructions. And this is the real power of ChatGPT projects. Here is where you put in your custom prompt of what you want the project to achieve for you, what information we're gonna be referring to, and how it should behave inside the chat. Now I've got a little bit of a template that you can download. Check the description for that one. I'm gonna do a, just a brief one here. And essentially it's telling ChatGPT what the project is for, what its role is, some of the things it can access for its resources, as well as ways and how I want it to respond to me. Now when I create a new chat inside the actual project here, it's gonna go on, go ahead and do that task and it's gonna refer back to the instructions on what it needs to do to be able to perform that task. So perhaps myself or a staff member can come into this project and then actually ask it what the first step is. And now when I run that chat, it's gonna go into the instructions, access the information database, and tell me what I need to do first to do the first step of the onboarding. And then once I've finished doing that, I can move on to the next step. And if I'm having any problems, I can troubleshoot and ask ChatGPT what I need to do to get past a certain problem. Now at any stage in the life of this project, I can come along and add extra files for context or update the existing files here. And of course, I can also come in and edit these instructions at any time as well. Now, as your system grows, organizing your ChatGPT projects becomes crucial. Renaming chats and moving chats between folders keeps everything crisp and efficient. So for example, if your project has evolved to become something entirely different, you can just rename it to whatever you desire here. And with the chat, ChatGPT has automatically given it a title. So maybe I just want to rename that to onboarding steps. You can also easily move chats from outside a project into the project and then remove them out of there again. You can also move them from project to project. So there we go. A quick note on renaming chats inside a project. In the web browser experience, we do have that option to rename it, but if you're using that ChatGPT app on your desktop, you'll notice here that there's no way to actually rename it. At least they haven't yet. So maybe they can update that please ChatGPT because you can do it on the web browser experience or if you're using the phone app, but just not on the ChatGPT app on your desktop. It's really kind of annoying. So if you want to do a little bit of a reorganizing session of chats, moving them from different projects and renaming chats, then I recommend you do it on the web browser version. Now a quick comparison, when should you actually use ChatGPT projects and when should you use custom GPTs? Because both are great, but for very different reasons. Projects adapt, but GPTs stay fixed. As we've seen, you can evolve GPT projects by adding files or editing instructions and each of the chats in turn add context to the project. GPTs on the other hand are pre-built mini programs in themselves. However, the power of GPT is that yes, you can share it to other people so you can create the GPT with custom instructions, give it specific documents to work with. But once that's published and shared, it can't be changed. Also, the memory inside GPTs aren't as persistent as those with projects. And if you do want to share your project, you can, but you can't be selling them and putting them on the marketplace as you can with GPTs. ChatGPT projects are great for having everything under one umbrella, but check out this video next to see how Skywork AI can completely revolutionize everything you thought was possible with AI agents. Also subscribe to the channel for more AI updates just like this. Thanks for joining me and I'll see you there.